Hello everyone and thank you for joining. This reading is for Scorpio for September 2016 for your love, peace, and happiness. I'm so grateful for your support and joining me for this reading, general reading for you viewers. Messages of utmost importance from Love Source God for your love, peace, and happiness, Scorpio, for September 2016 in particular. Things that are important love for your love, peace, and happiness for Scorpio, September 2016. Love, peace, and happiness reading for all viewers for Scorpio for the month of September 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for these divine messages for Scorpio, for their love, peace, and happiness, particularly for the month of September 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love Source God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Spread your wings, the Two of Wands. Regarding your creative projects, the way you, um, the way you live your life, what you know to be true, love source God's message for you is that you make your plans, make some decisions, and see how the universe is going to support that. Um, See just what you're able to accomplish. Be very brave and bold in allowing your creative truths to come forward. Your art is different. It's okay. I must say while I'm shuffling this other deck, the card showed itself to me. I put it back in and I'm still shuffling, but it is the equivalent of that same card in this deck. It is the Two of Wands. So, as I continue to shuffle, the universe has just confirmed that that message was very important for you. So, Scorpio, September 2016. Spread your wings. Visualize, plan. Mm. See how you can embrace your inner creativity. And for someone you really looking for your own inner truth. So pull back the veil of secrecy. Walk into the light bravely and courageously, knowing that you're beautifully adorned and perfect for the task that you want to complete. It is yours. The inspiration was given to you. Inspiration is not something to, to second guess, to doubt. Not when it comes in as strong as it did for you, because you know who I'm talking to. This was not a, hmm, maybe I should. This was a, oh my God, I have to do this. And you know I'm talking to you. You know it was you who had that strong inspiration. And so, if you don't act on it, that feeling is never going to go away. Because it is something very important for your course right now. And it is something that is going to help you to find your own truth. It is something that's going to help you get into a place of alignment. And with the Eight of Swords, you have 
a great many thoughts on your mind. And at this point, I feel like they are about how things may not work out for you. If you were to pursue this thing that is so strongly on your mind. For some of you, it has to do with wanting to begin a new relationship. For somebody else, you want to start a business. For somebody else, it has to do with your education and for somebody else you're having a second child and so the message I'm getting from the eight of swords is that you show greater trust you've been through so much already this you will also get through and your experiences from the past and all of your past successes are buoying you up, building you up, encouraging you when you allow them to. So where you're feeling fear and trepidation, that word came strongly to me for you, trepidation. You've been using that word lately, haven't you? Where you're feeling fear and trepidation about this new course understand that you have all of the support you need you have all you need to get through and spirit is guiding you in this way you think it's just you but the reason why this energy will not leave you alone and it keeps prodding you forward is because this is a spiritual goal quest challenge success allowance this is a spiritual thing for you yes it looks like art it looks like a business it looks like money it looks like love but this is a spiritual collaboration meant to help give you some healing in your heart And every little step you take in that direction is greatly rewarded and will allow you to accomplish these dreams. Every day, if you do one little tiny thing in harmony with what your dreams are you will see that what you put out is what you get back and you will be assured success you may feel like you don't have the finances to support what you want to accomplish but your wishes and your dreams are protected and so all finances will be supplied if you take one step at a time take that first step don't worry about the yes I know the saying and that's what you've been focused on that you must count the cost first well when you're working with spirit part of the cost that you must count is that the universe always provides whatever you need before you need it and so if you move forward in this confident knowing that the road is being lit up and built for you as you're walking. What you're doing is so, so brand new that the road is being built as you're traveling it. It's like it finally sets, the road finally sets right before you set your foot on it. You have protection here. So yes, count the costs, but don't forget to add in spirit. Don't forget to add in God. Don't forget to add in the divine energies of all that ever is, was, would be, or could be supporting you. Because this what you're creating, what you're doing, this work that you're involved in is for the greatest good of all of us. And, and for you. And your contributions that you're giving and doing this work 
is something that the universe is calling for. It helps bring the universe back into balance. Thank you for joining me. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course, me and mine. Until next time.